Welcome to Craft Plan Create. Hi, my crafty friends. Welcome or welcome back to Craft Plan Create. Today, I am working with all of these lovely, lovely packagings that I received from a friend of mine who runs a shop and she sells a lot of candies. As you can see here, she has a big diversity of her candies and the types of things that she has. And as you can see here, this is a package that she gave me and I just cut it out um, for the shape of the can. So anyway, I wanna show you what I made from all of these goodies and I will be right back. If you wanna see that, go ahead and stick around. Before I show you what I made, I just want to tell you it was all made possible because of this multi cinch by We Are Memory Keepers. This is the tool that helped me make the sustainable journal that I'm going to show you now. I actually made two of them and this is very easy to use. There's lots of tutorials online and when I come back, I'll show you the journals that I made. So these are the two sustainable journals that I made from the rubbish and the discarded packaging that my friend was going to throw away. I'm really happy that I was able to recycle these because it prevents these items from ending up in our landfills. So what I'm going to do, just to let you know, I'm going to walk it through and do the chatty part. At the very end of this video, you're going to be able to just see the flip through by itself. So if you'd like to see that, Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I am never going to promote smoking. It's really not good for your health. But this is made from those candy cigarettes. And here we are. I used the packaging to create the cover. And this is literally the packaging for the Whirly Pops. And on the back, I left it exactly how it was. I just punched a little hole and then fed some ribbon through to make this little bookmarker. And here is that liquid death can that you saw earlier. And you can journal right on the back of that. And this is a little heart paper clip. So that's what I use to attach this here. The next page is this Red Vines packaging. And you can see here, this is a green tea packaging. This was made from a six pack. I just cut it out, backed it with some cardstock, and there you go. The next page is this Kiwi Blast. Again, you're gonna see that I Use the similar method over and over again. I backed it with cardstock. This was exactly how the packaging was for those Smarties. And then this was packaging for the Abba Zabba, the nerds. I just backed it with cardstock. And then this was also another candy packaging. This is the Airheads and I just made it into a pocket for this little Razzles bookmark. You can journal on this. And as you can see, I just use those little tiny pieces to create a collage of the candy. Here's a fun dips and you can write here. This is a file folder and I put, I created a pocket with the Nerds Rope packaging. This is the perforation that was on the package itself. Here are more of those liquid death cans. I backed it with some paper bags, brown paper bags. And this is another piece of the Abba Zabba. I just cut the edges and created a bookmarker. And you can also write here. And you can see I really tried to use even the smaller pieces of the packaging. This is from Sour Green Apple Death Valley. This is actually a soda. And I just covered the back of it with tea dye paper. This is more cardstock, and this is more candy wrappers. This is a drink of some kind. I don't know what it is, but this is the back of that packaging. I didn't do anything to it. I just thought it was so pretty and you can write on top of that as well. And this is from a Charms candy. You can see it's not perfect, but that's okay. That's why I like it. This is from the Whatchamacallit box. It was just brown craft paper on the back, so I just lined it with uh, cardstock, colored cardstock. This is from an airplane packaging. And I created a little pocket back here with a crush packaging. And these are also just salvaged into bookmarkers and little tags. 
so you can write on the back of all of those. And here is something from the SpongeBob candies. You can write all over here and here as well. So I covered some pieces that had a lot of glue on it that I was able to rip the glue off of. And this is the big hunk. And this I'm particularly proud of. You see, this is the back of that big hunk box. That's how it came. But this is what I'm proud of, this little box. So this originally held four of these sparkling juices. And I made it into like a little pocket of sorts here. And I backed it with some cardstock. And here is that pure cane sugar birch beer. It's like root beer. This is tea stain paper. And then I saved some of the Razzles packaging. You can see it's a very rough save. And I kind of like it like that. You can see all the perforation right there. I didn't even bother trimming it off because it's very eclectic this way. Here is from the Gold Mine Candy, and I backed it with blue cardstock. And this is also more of sarsaparilla soda packaging, backed with red cardstock. And then this is the back of this Red Vines packaging as well. So this was my second journal that I made out of this packaging. And what I can tell you is that it only takes one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pages max. Other than that, it's going to bust out of this binding here. But what I did instead of adding more pages, because I, I was limited to 16, I just filled the, it up with more writing spaces. So that's that one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. This has more of a vintage feel of, for the packaging. This is the front of the box. This is the back of the box. Or maybe it was two separate boxes. I don't know. But I just lined it with some cardstock that I had available. This was literally cardstock I was going to throw away. And I paper clipped this flap down. But you can write here or here. Here is this Sweet Pops Charms cover. And I backed it with cardstock. This was the tag from the Jelly Belly Lollipops. I paper clipped it down just the way. It was, that's the way it came to me. So this is just a piece of cardstock here. And I paper clipped this to the top. I wanted this yellow to really bring out the yellow here. Here is another Smarties. It's the Mega Smarties. And I created a little pocket with this Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And you can write on that space. Let me fix this really fast. Okay, so here is the Jackson ginger beer. It's a Jackson Hole soda, so it's not really beer. And again, I did more of that collage work, but the other one I put tissue over to create some texture. Here, let me show it to you again. Do you see all of that? I just glued some tissue paper on it and then I ripped it up. But I like that look, so I did it again here and created a pocket with the Hello Kitty packaging. And this is a bit of packaging from the SpongeBob candy. And I just left it exactly how it was. I cut the edges off and then put some ribbon there. This is a Sour Patch candy packaging. This is a Pez packaging, and it already had this in there, so I cut it out and created a little pocket of sorts. This is more of the candy cigarette packaging. 
and I just cut it in half and adjusted it so this would show and this would show. So this is the Whirly Pop packaging and what I did was I created a little pocket and this is a journaling space, Black Cherry Blow Pop, and it's lined with some cardstock. And as you can see here, this was some wire ribbon that I had salvaged from Christmas. And what I did was I just took the wire out and then I looped it all around the top to hold it there so it's not going to go anywhere. And this is more cardstock. And then I wanted some interactive pages. So these are just little bits of the packaging for nerds and what was this? Sour Patch Kids. And then I took the rest of this nerd packaging and made a pocket. This is from the Pez candies. And this is backed with brown paper bag. I don't know if you can see that, but I crumbled it up. Oh yeah, you can see it like this. Um, just so I can have some dimension, but it does lay flat so you can write on it. And in this side, there's also another pocket and I put two of these little drink journaling spaces. This is backed with more paper bags. And this is a icy spray candy. Here's some more Sour Patch Kids packaging so you can write on that as well. And then this is another pocket on this side and I just put the Razzles packaging and the Extreme Airhead Extremes and there you go. And the, you can see I had a ton of these, so, well, not a ton, but I had three of them or four. I messed up on one of them, but I included in this one as well. And here is another journaling space. And this is also a little tuck. Let me go ahead and create this or move this. And there you go. So this is Pokemon trading card game box. You can see I just kind of made a makeshift tag with it and a pocket with the other pop out piece. This is the Abba Zabba packaging and I have come to appreciate candy packaging that has this beautiful back to it. Look at all that diversity of color. It's so pretty. And I, you can see what I did here. These are the bits that were here somewhere. Oh, I don't know where I cut that off of. I thought it was here. But anyway, I just recycled it. And here is more cardstock. This is from the Look Candy. This is the gold mine nugget bubblegum packaging and I just backed it with cardstock. This is another writing space. It's just the Mike and Ike Berry Blast and here is the back cover. So these are the two sustainable journals and I will be right back for just the flip through.
So that's the end of these flip throughs. I hope you really enjoyed this. It was very fun to make these sustainable journals so that these packages did not end up in our landfills. I am so grateful that all of you are here. Thank you for sticking with me through my COVID. And if you hear me breathing kind of funny, it's because my asthma is still not under control, but it'll get there. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers for being here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you and ask you to please subscribe. Like this, share this if you'd like. And most of all, thanks for watching and have a great day. Till next time, everyone. Bye.